We're here in Mexico City having a blast with our friend Diego and today we're actually doing one of Trent's favorite things. A little bit of construction and mechanics. This is Diego. He's our friend that's here in Mexico City. I can't even count on all of my fingers and toes how many times Diego has reached out and helped us solve a problem. We've been having some trouble with the rack that we put our bikes on. Diego just happens to be a structural engineer. And he has an engineering consulting company where they've got all different kinds of machines that are gonna help us make some parts where we're gonna be able to get the rack mounted and make it a lot more rigid and solid. You know I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to help them out and get them on their way. We're gonna go get the rack situated. You guys wanna come along for the ride? This is the shock part. That's our big time router. Laser cutter. Woodworking tools. These are our 3D printers. This is the ones we design and build. A project that's working with a school that's funded by the United States Embassy. So wow. there's a lot of like um, programs by the United States Embassy here in Mexico on education. If you pay a membership, you can you know use the space, you can use the conference center, and you can, if you need machining time, you know we. We don't let other people use the machines, but we'll do the machining work for them and that's included oh. so they don't hurt themselves mm -hmm. or they don't hurt the machine or anything. So we're super stoked we got this bike. It has been really fun to ride. We rode it yesterday, you guys saw on Nomadic Movement's channel, but I can't rest at night until I know that that rack is solid because this is like our investment to go through Mexico and Central America. And if it falls off the back of our van, we're gonna be in big trouble. We're gonna do everything we can today to secure the investment. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. Good boy. So the problem with the ProMaster is that the bumper and the hitch mount is just mounted into the unibody, which is basically just pressed uh, sheet metal. It's shaped in a way that makes it really rigid, but when you put this much weight at this this big of an angle, it it's it's too much leverage with a 300 pound bike. So it's actually flexing the sheet metal, and then the rack itself is actually very loose so those two things combined is is making for a lot of play basically just trying to figure out a way to distribute the weight better i'm glad that i have the assistance of a structural engineer so we can run things by each other and figure out what's going to work best so we're going to try and hook this tie down strap to the rack and then to a toe point so that we can try and take all the slack out of the rack itself and i think that's like, Tri triple redundancy. Yeah, exactly. You're on a backup, on a backup, on a backup, and I think that'll make you sleep better at night. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I am Diego Garcia, and I approve this message. <laughs> This is uh, the epitome of a shade tree mechanic, but I'm not in the shade. I'm in the sun in Mexico. Mexico City is 8,800 feet of elevation, which a lot of people don't know. I had no idea. It's, it's on like a plateau in the middle of the mountains. The oxygen is thin, the sun is hot, and I'm exhausted. And all we did was like pretty much nothing. We're taking this one inch square tubing that's eighth inch wall, so it's very strong. And it's basically gonna go there, and we're gonna weld it to the body, and then we're gonna weld it to the hitch. That's gonna stop all of this, or 90% of the uh, bouncing that we're getting from the rack. Bug in a rug. Now we're gonna get welding. Uh, we just got done welding. Do a little paint on the weld so that they don't rust. We're gonna throw the bumper cover back on. 
Diego and Macarena have been amazing. They are so patient and so kind. We owe them some food. So they've taken us to a really cute area. We're in Coyoacan. And we're gonna eat? Mexican food. <laughs> no, we're, um, we're gonna get you some really good coffee here. There's really oh, good coffee. Yes. There's some churros, there's some gorditas. This lake is a really nice just neighborhood to walk around with all these nice old houses. <laughs> eating a lot of tacos. And now it's fantastic. We have built-in tour guides who are able to show us exactly what we can be eating, what we can be trying to kind of branch out a little bit, to taste something new. So here we have chilaquiles, uh, enfrijoladas de pollo, and tamale, what is that, de especial. Tamale especial. Everything is amazing. Food. We got freshly roasted coffee beans and we're about to try some famous donuts. Coffee from Mexico. It's really traditional. It's made from molasses. So we'll try that. We'll get Trent hooked on that. <laughs> Alright guys, we just got done at the Mercato Cayoacan. It's a market in the middle of Cayoacan, which is a city here. It used to be like its own little downtown, but now it's just kind of engulfed by Mexico City, so it's just like a, a suburb downtown type zone. But as you guys just saw, it's amazing. Now we need to go find Kaylee and Jordan. Because and guess what day it is? Finish the Super Bowl. It's already started. Oh. It's the Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl. It's Super Bowl Sunday. We're gonna go find them, finish the game. We'll see you guys there. Three to zero. Who? Half? Yeah, okay. So we made it here just in time to catch the third and the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. It is three to zero. The Patriots, Patriots are leading, but. We're gonna finish the rest of the game and hopefully the Pats win. That's right. guys that was a completely tiring and exhausting day we got a lot done we did we got the hitch fixed we saw a beautiful part of mexico city we tasted some delicious authentic mexican food thank you again so much diego and macarena saved the day for real to our new friends that have just been nothing but saviors of this entire trip yeah you, you guys, guys are rock awesome. And the Patriots won. The Patriots won. Which, so. you know, kind of depends what side of the fence you're on. We don't really care, but we're glad Jordan's happy. Yeah. He's part of the crew, so <laughs> we're happy too. With that, I think we are going to sleep. Make sure you guys subscribe to Trent and Alley if you're not already. Subscribe to the Nomadic Movement if you guys haven't done that as well. And then give us a like on this video because it really helps us out. We really appreciate it. And we will talk to you soon. See you guys in the next Good one. Good night. <laughs>